Welcome everyone to the Coastal Spot. Originally I wasn't going to do a update, but something really cool is actually happening right now. So I figured, uh, what the heck? What the heck? Every video that but now I have to edit things in a different way now because I edited it as in we weren't going to show it. <laughs> Still, but the whole idea right now yeah, is yeah. what they're doing is a very unique uh, opportunity for us to see. So they're basically doing electronic checks of the gauge of the track. Um, I don't know if it actually moves or not. I think it may actually roll just a little bit, but it does. Yeah, it is. Right now you can see it's hooked it's, to a harness. Yeah, they're right there, and I think that's hooked to a winch that's hooked to them. But it's also tied up there on one of the pieces of a uh, track tie. Come over here. He's gonna move it. Okay, let's watch this. This is an interesting. Uh, it's an interesting process. Watching paint dry. Yeah, and it looks like it's a very complicated. It's basically that is basically probably this act same dimensions as the car. So the two the two wheel assemblies and the actual axles between them. That's probably the same distance and everything. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that silver box there. I wish I had my good camera with me. I do not. I'm sorry. It's an electrical box. More than likely, it's where the brains of the system are. It's probably an electronic measurement system. Yeah, maybe. Either that or um, I don't know. Maybe it's it's an alignment process. Yeah, that's very cool. I've never seen anything like that. I feel like this is a more high-tech way of doing a pull-through without having to pull through a, you know, two-ton car. Yeah. And yeah. Then, oops, I still let it go, and then God only knows where it goes. All right, exactly. It's very cool. This is really neat. So they're getting into position on something. We're working on the pathway. I think they're probably trying to get the pathway open as soon as they can so they have that flow back Cyborg and uh, Justice League. But other than that, the building's been painted over there. And uh, they haven't even done the grouting yet underneath the supports. That really worries me that they haven't done that. They, they seem to be working on the electrical. No signs of the station, but I believe foundations are near done. So things are happening, but a lot more things need to happen for it to open anytime soon. It's gorgeous. Yeah. They have added a conduit to some of the sections. You can see right there between the tubes there. There's a big they, gap. Yeah, but then up well, here they still gaps. haven't done it yet. As I said, that's really concerning to me that they haven't even started wiring up the sensors so, up top. What, what also concerns me is I don't know if the sign's going to be gaudy or if it actually is going to enhance the way it looks. Because right now I like the simplicity. No, I think it looks weird. I think it. it's going to be too much. No, I think it's going to look like a carnival ride slap. Well, on. apparently it's in the parking lot, so we'll look for it while we go out oh, to nice. Hurricane Harbor and uh, where's, the safari. Where's the train? Is the train on site yet? The train is on site. It's backstage somewhere. Ah, uh, okay, we'll find it. Yes, let's get kicked out of Great Adventure so we I never can ride it. I didn't get kicked out of Great Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the coverage. And here's a look at the station area. Looks like we have some foundation, lots of boxes of equipment and everything, but still, as I said, lots to do still. If you've seen my updates before, usually I'm like really like, there's nothing that surprises me much, right, Jeff? This, this is very this, interesting. This is, this is very interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this is. This no. It's definitely pull-through type stuff. Okay, what's he doing? It looks like there's wires on it. Too. There's definitely wires and gauges on there. I think it's a very intricate testing thing. The real question is what happens when you have to adjust the gauge? It's not like you can just break the weld. I think it's just to uh, to validate things. Maybe it's part of the inspection, the state. Uh, yeah, this is Vacoma. This is definitely Vacoma. Is this Vacoma thing, you think? Yeah, it's definitely Vacoma. I think they're refusing to be rushed, unfortunately. Unfortunately, fortunately, right? Yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry, but come on, open, open the thing already. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, there we go. They're moving it. Okay, Ooh. okay. Yeah. Ooh. I'm calling this they the first test run. This is a, uh, I'm just going to call it a T run. It's not quite a full test, it's just the first letter of the test. Oh, look at that dive. Look at that going, look at that diving into that. Oh my goodness. I'm just imagining right now, the coaster car right there and just, it looks gorgeous. Use your imagination, Jeff. Oh, if we wait long enough, we'll be able to get real close to this. Oh, baby. We do have one constraint though. We want to go ride my train at 2.30. So, uh, when he stops it. We'll see how long it takes for them to move it again. There's rollers on that. That is actually, yeah. it's, it's emulating yeah. the, the, uh, the wheel assembly. Yeah, if it, I would just say it was a gauge thing, but if it has that silver box, that looks like electronics. Yeah, the electronics, that has to be for measurement. Yeah, that's There's what no I meant. Force it. it's no, 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 no. It even has some rollers on the side. 
like guide wheels almost. You can see those. How do you adjust I don't know. Maybe I really wish I had my good camera right now. This Maybe really sucks. Yeah, we're going with this is just like a pull through test with a specialized jig that might have some uh, some sensors on it and everything. It could literally just be a sensor. I don't know. Why wouldn't you just do that like with yeah, limits? Yeah, with mechanical, li mechanical limits. Well, if you look at where the, where the track connections are, you can actually see it offset. See that? What do you mean offset? One track piece, the, the rail. Yeah. It looks like there's actually a gap. Like they're not aligned for it. Uh, no, I think they're okay. They haven't grounded yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're grounded in yet. It might be just so mag particle testing, yeah. No. It's definitely not that heavy because the guy's just doing it manually with his arms. So, it, 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 yeah, it can't be more than, a, you know, 50 pounds, if that. So all wheels are metal, and they're trying to say that all three wheels or all wheels are contacting at the same time in each location. They want to see where it comes off. Oh, it is beeping. Where is that beeping coming from? You guys can't hear it on the it's video. It's just doing steam Like going up and down. Okay, maybe. They're about to strap it up again. All right, well, I think that's about it from the uh, construction update. There's really not much else to show you. Definitely some foundation work going on over here, it looks like. Um, but, uh, as I said, no grouting has still taken place over on any of the supports. That is extremely concerning. Uh, but Jeff, hopefully once they finish this testing that they, uh, the structure is exactly where they want it to be and then they can begin doing the grouting. Maybe that's why the grouting hasn't been done yet. Possibly. Like, yeah. This could have something related to the grouting. Yeah, they need to get this done first. Make sure everything's where it is, everything's adjusted properly. So they're gonna have to take it off when it gets down to the limbs, because that ain't going through the limbs. Oh, uh, yeah, that is definitely uh, not going LSMs through the limbs. No, LSMs, yeah. So, interesting, yeah, I won't. Now, this, it's obviously some kind of measurement. I don't know what exactly, but it's a measurement device. All right, well, we got a mine train to go ride, so, yes. and we don't want it to run away. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our full day here on the 50th anniversary of Six Flags Great Adventure. This has been Alex. Bye.